Hello everyone. So I have a disclaimer. So it's 1230. It's time for you and me to have a chat. And uh, today's topic on episode number 52 is a quick topic. It's going to be a quick and dirty one. It's actually about um, are you cleaning these spots often enough? So obviously some of us are better cleaners than others. But before I start, something is really, really, really bugging me. And that is if you noticed on other videos, as opposed to this one, the words behind me are backwards, right? They're flipped. And I didn't notice this until two minutes before going live that the buttons on the Facebook Live um, thing um, have changed and my flipper is missing. So I don't know if I just need to reset my phone or not. I Googled it real quick like, and the instructions are old instructions. Those are instructions that I read a long time ago, and that's how I know how to flip it. But for some reason, it's missing today. So um, sorry about that. I know that it reads backwards, and um, that just irks me. So anyways, hello, everybody. Uh, before we get started, just as a reminder, please go to... Uh, YouTube, and um, click on my site, which is Drake's Real Estate TV, and click subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. Um, and if you comment below, you know what? I think I still have some, let me check. Yes, I still have some scratchers left. So if you would like a lot of scratcher, um, leave a comment below, and um, I'll send you one, all right? So anyways, cleaning. A dirty, dirty, dirty topic. Cleaning up around the house is obviously an important task, and some of us um, are better at it than others. And some areas actually require cleaning more often than others. Wouldn't you agree? Exactly. So there are some spots that might need a bit more attention than others. Um, and this is especially true for the areas that are out of sight or otherwise not as easily um, accessible or noticed um, or higher trafficked, right? And of course, more visible. And they get cleaned, hopefully, more regularly, or at least should, right? So face it, we're all on a different cleaning schedule. Um, so while the specifics of your cleaning and maintenance schedule that will depend on your home and what you have in it, there are a few, a few common areas that a lot of us forget about that are probably not getting enough attention in your home. So let's talk about the interior first. Most of the time when you think of cleaning the house, you're thinking of tasks like Dusting and vacuuming. I actually like vacuuming. Don't mind it at all. So here are a few other places that you need to clean that might not be getting as much as attention um, as they need. Okay, so let's talk about the washer and dryer. You should actually clean your wash machine every week or two. Yes, it's true. Do you do it? Don't lie. Okay, or at least once a month if, it, if, if it's not being used, but we use ours all the time. So the dryer also needs to be cleaned at least once a month and make sure that you're taking a vacuum with that attachment um, to suck out any of the, um, you know, lint that's uh, that has built up because you definitely don't want that building up in the lint trap. All right. Um, blinds. Okay, this one I'm guilty on and I need to hire someone to come out here and, and clean these blinds. So. While dust on the blinds is the most obvious sign that they need to be cleaned, you know, there's also buildup of grease um, and other dirt over time that can actually lead to sticky and stainy messes um, on the blinds. So even if they look like they don't need it, try and clean your blinds at least once a month, okay? Or at least every other month. You know, just um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that our, that our room gets cleaned every week so you know i may not get to it all the time but at least it's in rotation okay let's talk about your fridge the coils on the back and we just talked about this not just recently they do need periodic cleaning but you should also be cleaning inside the grill the shelves and other um internal locations as well because this helps from um, building up of uh, things that are stopping the airflow but also prevents food contamination and that alone is enough that should gross you out to clean your fridge, people. Let's talk about furniture, especially those of us that have pets. Your furniture is upholstered. You should try to vacuum it, the surfaces of it, of course, um, at least once a month. And this is going to get rid of crumbs. Crumbs. You know who you are, couch potatoes. And other dirt 
but also just cutting back on the dust and dander and other allergens that can plague you throughout the year. Okay, remember, nose blind. We've talked about this in other previous episodes. You've got dogs and cats. You tend to go nose blind and you don't notice the odor. But when people that come in, come in, they know. So when you know, you know. So um, these obviously aren't the only locations that you need to hit up when cleaning around the house. As you see, I didn't mention the bathroom. Do I need to mention the bathroom and how often it needs to be cleaned? I don't. Okay. Of course, there's other appliances and features of the room that are frequently used. You might need to go on the list um, as cleaning more often. Okay, so let's talk about the exterior real quick, like, because a lot of people neglect this and it's not good. Because like I always said before, being proactive is better than being reactive and it's gonna save you money in the long run. I guarantee it. Okay, so there's a lot of areas outside that could probably, again, use more attention than they're getting. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's talk about uh, your external HVAC components, okay? So if you have central heat or air, you've likely got a large exterior unit um, that best gets cleaned once a year. And if you're saying you clean it more, or even if you clean it, you're lying, okay? So anyways, and if you rely on those uh, window-mounted air conditioners, they may get even less love. So please try and check those components, you know, a few times a year, if not more often. Um, you know, make it quarterly. Is, 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 is it really too much to ask? Okay, and it's going to help reduce potential hazards, and it's going to help their efficiency. I'm telling you, just listen to me. Discuss with Drake. I know. Earlier in an episode, I, told, I also talked about one of those pop-up um, um, covers for the your systems outside that when it gets turned on and the air pushes out, you know, it pushes the pop, it, it pushes the top up. But then when it's not working, or off, I should say, it pops back down. And so now the leaves and stuff can't get in it. So good idea to invest one. And they're not expensive. Go to the local Lowe's. Anyways, patties and walkways. Seems obvious, but you know, leaves, cut grass, any other types of dirt, they all really do have a negative effect on the walkways, the stonework, or even the wooden you know, the wooden features in your patios if left alone, and they can also cause unsightly stains. And it's the stains that we don't want to deal with, right? Or chips or decay. So, uh, you know, try and clean these and, and as well as your outdoor furniture at least once a month. And um, sometimes even more often in the summer and the fall when the leaves are, are blowing and you're mowing the lawn and blah, blah, blah. You know, it might be a good idea to invest in a power washer. Or at least hose the damn thing off, okay? Because if, if you do it more frequently, it's going to last longer. Okay, let's talk about the garage and the garage door. So hopefully you're at least cleaning your garage a few times a year, right? However, how often are you actually cleaning your garage doors? So not only do the tracks need to be cleaned and periodically oiled, um, you, know, you, you know, they do. So you just want to make sure that there's not dirt and debris and... I mean, stuff blows in all the time, you know, so you just don't want it, you just don't want the tracks clogged and then that gets dragged up to another mechanism and, and then it just becomes a domino effect of blah, blah, blah. So just make sure you want to add the, the proper, um, appropriate lubricant for the rollers um, and try to do that like, you know, like once a year or maybe even twice a year, like when you change your batteries and your smoke detectors. Are you doing that? We'll see. Anyways, and the last thing I want to talk about is actually gutters. And so if your home has gutters, you're likely to clean them you know, hopefully when the leaves are falling, but what about other times, you know, there's also falling seed pods. There's just dust and stuff. There's pollen, um, dirt, you know, that, that's washing off of your roof. All that stuff builds up. You might think, oh, it's just a little bit of dust, but you know what, dust on top of dust, on top of granule, on top of granule, and all of a sudden it's clogged. Okay, and that's what we're trying to avoid. So try to clean them at least once per season, if not more often, or better yet, hire someone to do it because this one here does not get on ladders okay i hate ladders and i don't like watching other people on ladders either it still bugs me so that's actually all i have uh for you today just want to give a shout out to keeper for once again always providing me hopefully what you see is as valuable information um i always try to keep it short um and informed and I, please don't keep me a secret. Uh, like I said, if you have a topic that you'd like me to speak about, just let me know and I'll get it on the calendar. Hope you've had a fantastic week. 
I can't believe it's May. Someone's birthday's coming up in less than a month. Don't forget. So um, have a faster week. Uh, please be kind to one another. Don't forget to live, laugh, and love. And until we see each other next week, when the next move matters, contact Jake for Holmes. See you later. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you later. Hi, Charlene.